Morgan. I am a um, hair and makeup artist for YBL and I have just come on to show you a quick little tutorial on a sexy mummy. So I will put the little inspo pic right here. Hopefully that works. I am primed, set, ready to go. So whenever you start a fresh face of makeup, you always want to prime and you want to um, tone. I usually tone with like a rose oil or I'll use the witch hazel. My face is really dry so I tend to use a more like oily based moisturizer and a more like intense toner that's specifically for dry skin. Um, but yeah. This is one of my favorite brands. It's the e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer. I use this on myself and on my clients. It's super hydrating and it's super great for all types of skin types. So here at YBL, it's like one of my favorite things. We carry so many different things for every person. So um, this is a really good like universal primer. If you're looking for one, this is a great one. Um, yeah, so let's begin. First of all, I am just going to kind of apply an all over even skin tone. Um, let's see here. I do need to get my makeup brushes. Don't worry, these are all my own makeup brushes. So if they look like they have makeup on them, they do. I wash my makeup brush about once a week. Um, you can do it more than that. I just tend to use the same products. And then this is one of my favorite brands. Um, it's by Uvius. I don't remember, I don't know how to call it, but it is the shade Caro. I'm super pale, so I like this one. It's very lightweight on your skin, but it has all over coverage. That's my boyfriend, he has a guest appearance. Are you okay? Okay, awesome. This is a little bit darker than my natural skin tone. I did get a tan. Woo, shout out to our YBL team. We love to see that. So sorry, I did not get my brush like I said I was going to. I actually rubbed this in with my hands. Um, It's a super lightweight concealer, one that you can kind of apply like sunscreen like moisturizer it's super super hydrating so i feel like a lot of things that involve spookiness you tend to think of like sickly and or people with like redder eyes anything like that so when we're doing a spooky glam to still give it that spook putting red or pink underneath the eyes gives the illusion of like more sickly or more spooky so that's just a great little tip when you're doing your own spooky glam for parties for anything like that it's a great little place to be in. Now this is kind of a fun place to be because at something like this it's super universal where you could do like a spooky Frankenstein, you could do a spooky um, vampire, you could kind of work off of this beginning stage because you have this like foundation of okay I already kind of have more of an intense kind of spookier look than what I usually have. Obviously, I don't know many people that extend all the way down there for their looks, but you know, when you're spooky glam, you can do what you please. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> I'm trying to decide what colors I want. This is where I mean, like, the world is the oyster and you are the pearl. You pick the colors you like. I personally really like purples and like pinks on myself but I like more of like a natural tone of those so that's usually what I go for but not today not today so I am 
going to use actually my finger to apply this because I think it gets into my inner corner the best for myself. I never poke my clients with the brush, but I poke myself with the brush all the time. So I just like this to kind of give me a blendy look. And then it's not too intense right in there in the corner. Boom. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it kind of blended everything out. Now I think I'm gonna do like purple and gold. So we're gonna do a little more purple in kind of the inner corner. Wow, see that is such a pigmented pink that it's not even accepting the purple. Maybe we'll do like more of a lighter purple. It's that one called Power Suit, Power Suit Purple. I kind of really like that. <laughs> I'm just blending them out to make them all. Okay, let's see. I used to really love this gold. I would wear it everywhere. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you really see that, but that gold is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting the gold right there. I honestly would do more of like a gold pink mummy because that's me. I like that. I really like gold on myself. Obviously I have gold earrings. Gold's kind of my natural undertone, so that's what I Plus I think the gold with the pink kind of gives it like a droopy, I'm exhausted. I've been sleeping in the crypts. Look. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Now we're gonna do my eyebrows. Let me get my blonde eyebrow pen. There we are. So again, because this is like Halloween glam, we want to remember that we want to be glam. So where this might feel a little like awkward because it's more makeup than you'd usually put on, most of the time Halloween is the time to go all out. Like ex accept it, embrace it. I am using my NYX micro brow pencil. I really love I love a lot of things that they do, mostly their colors. I have the hardest time getting my brows to like, wow, that is such harsh lighting. Maybe I can, maybe is that better? Okay, you get what you get and you don't throw it, okay. So I really love the color matching because I have, I have pretty dark eyebrows for somebody who is a natural blonde, so, it's just finding the right color because brown is too dark and red is too red. But I really like their blonde. I think it looks super good. Um, it's great because we have lots of YBLers that do eyebrows. So they do um, eyebrow laminations, they do waxing, they do all that good stuff. So. That's a really awesome service to get as like a little add-on if you're doing some Halloween glam. It's just a really great way to have your eyebrows stay on all night, even when you're at a monster mash. That was hilarious. If you didn't laugh, then you're not funny. <laughs> okay, see, I'm happy with my brows. Now they look like they have a uniform shape. So now we are gonna go in with a eyeliner. Um, and it'll be great because when we put on like, cause I'm gonna like wrap my face like a mummy, mummy. Um, 
oh my gosh you know it would be so fun okay i was just thinking about this if you're doing like a all pink mummy or you're doing like a gold or something like that making the contour of your face that color super super cool um i'm gonna use brown because that's what i use to contour my face anyway but um I'm gonna use a deeper shade than what I usually use just to give me that kind of sunk in, sunk, sunk in look. Is that a word? Sunk in? Sunk in? Sunk in? Wow, Whew, that's intense. And we'll probably drag that down with a brush. And then give me a little nose contour. Beautiful. Yep. Give a little there. Beautiful doll and beautiful. Go up. This part of my eye will probably be covered with um, mummy wrap. I'm gonna use some toilet paper, but I'm gonna mummify it a little bit. So I'll show you how to do that. It's super easy. Do a little on my chin. I mean, I've been in the catacombs for a while, so I'm gonna kinda put some on my face. Give me a little bit of like a dirty, a dirty contour look. That's the fun thing too about Halloween makeup. I mean, yes, we are going like glam mummy, but we also are still a mummy. So we can still have like our, oh, I've just been in the catacombs. I'm exhausted. Look, Pharaoh framed me. <laughs> I think I'm so funny. Oh my gosh. The mummy tonight, and I'm so stoked. Okay. Give me that little nose contour. <laughs> A little dirt. I actually can't wait for you guys to see this in better lighting. But at least now you're getting like the gist of what I'm doing. I want to make more defined cheekbones, putting this all the way up. And you'll see when I make the mummy wraps. It's just gonna be a little bit more intense. So, the mummy wraps are important to make, like you're supposed, to, it's important to mummify them, otherwise you're just gonna look like you have toilet paper on your face and then you're gonna look silly. Nobody wants to look a fool. Okay, let's get a little setting powder down here. I'm gonna make those cheekbones sharp. Because really, Pharaoh did frame us. Because Pharaoh freaking would. Oh my gosh, how fun would it be? I should just make up characters for each of these. My like, little Red Riding Hood. That's the real villain of the story. The wolf was just walking, bro. Not his fault, little girls. No, wait. I should stop right there. No more talking for me. Okay, I'm setting this with a setting powder, my favorite one, which is, it's the Revolution. I, okay, I say that they're my favorite, and then I'm like, it's this. Okay, but it really is, though. I really do love it. I just don't remember the names of things. Okay. I, because I'm going to go for, like, a gold pink mummy, I am going to add this, like, brown gold that I have into the contour a little bit. I want to give it a little bit more sparkle little bit more shine i want to glam it just a little bit more wow okay cool cool cool. that was kind of super dark but that's okay because we're gonna roll with it we're rolling with the punches i probably should not have washed my hair that's okay all right why not why not okay you can see the contour is pretty intense but it's getting there we might add a little mummy blush, which would probably be like an orange, I feel like. Orangey red. Yeah. Well, we are going to be the cutest mummies at the Monster Mash. I'm just going to pretend that you guys are all going to like a Halloween party with me. Perfect. Okay. 
let's add this. I'm adding a little bit of gold underneath my eyes to kind of combine with that pink that's under my eyes already. Ooh, yes. I can't wait to show you this in the real life. It's looking really cool, but I don't feel like you can really see it. But that's okay. Next, we're gonna do eyeliner. Um, okay, something to keep in mind is that eyeliner, it isn't super super important. Like, I know that everybody's gonna come for me for being like, there's one good eyeliner. There's a lot of good eyeliners. I love two actually, and one of them is by Wet n Wild and the other is by NYX. And they're my go-to that I use on myself and everybody else. I've used a bunch of different stuff. I've used a MAC one, I've used a Revlon, I've used CoverGirl, I've used, um, I don't know. I just use a lot of eyeliner because I love eyeliner and this one's my favorite. I just go through it like it's nobody's business. It's waterproof. My favorite on the Wet n Wild is says that it's breakup proof, which I think is hilarious. I was telling that to a client once and she was like, what do you mean breakup proof? And I was like, like you can cry through it. She was like, oh, why are you crying over a breakup? And I was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. You've never been hurt, but I loved it for her. Okay, so we're gonna slay the wing per usual. I am going to do a more intense wing because that's easier for me to replicate on like a piece of paper, which you're going to see why that's important. Oh no. My mascara. Where did I wear this? Might be out in the car. In the car. In my mom's car. Okay. The eyeliner is slayed. Okay, I'm going to be using the Kiss So With B eyelashes. So I just put lash glue on my hand. I use the duo one. That's not my favorite one, but it's the one I have. So that's the one I'm using. Okay, I'm going to show you the coolest trick on how to put eyelash glue all over the eyelash band itself. Okay, so you can see that eyelash. You're gonna put some on your hand and you're just gonna run the eyelash through the glue. So it gets an even thing right there. This is one part where having acrylic nails is super, super. Shirt for her, for. <laughs> And then you're just gonna blend ever so carefully. Whatever you say, put mascara on your bottom lash. It will change your life, okay? Don't be mad because I'm right. Just do better. I think you were just seeing the top of my head, sorry. Okay, cute, love that. Okay, now I'm gonna take you into the bathroom with me and show you how to mummify some toilet paper.